Hi everyone. Well, it's Valerie here again. I am still in the studio. I did a video earlier and I'm doing another video for you guys. Now, I have done a few calculation videos. I would love to get your feedback if it helps if if the videos don't help you i would like to hear that too i like getting your feedback so i know where i stand what i'm doing the wrong thing i'm focusing on the right thing if it's been helpful to anyone for all my subscribers and potential subscribers okay thank you so much for subscribing thanks for commenting and supporting my channel if you haven't subscribed, please do and please hit that bell button so you can be notified of new videos. So the next calculation video um, I am about to do is how to calculate carpet for your space. Now it's pretty straightforward. All you need are your measurements, your width and your length. Okay, I have an example here. Pretend this is the flooring space and we have 12 feet for our width and 10 feet for our length now we need to find the square feet we multiply length by width so it's going to be our length by our width so it is 10 feet by 12 feet. And that is how we're going to find our square footage. Okay, so it's 10 times 12. It's 120. So it's 120 feet square ft square so we have 120 feet square that is our space here however we need to accommodate wastage so generally when you're accommodating wastage you multiply your feet square here by 1.1 so we take 120 feet squared and we multiply by 1.1 okay so i know how to do long division long multiplication long addition but you know what in the interest of space and time i'm just going to use my calculator and i'm going to multiply 120 times 1.1 and that equals 132 so it's 132 feet square so our 132 square feet okay so we need carpet which is 132 square feet however carpet is sold in square yards not square feet how do we get the square yard? We divide the 132 by 9. Why do we divide by 9? We divide by 9 because we need to find the square yards and there are 9 square feet in a square yard. So 9 square feet equals one square yard so we'll take the 132 square feet and we divide that by nine and that equals let's 132 divide by nine equals 14 point 14 point six seven yard square or square yard so a room that's 10 feet um by 12 feet you will need 14.67 
square yards of carpet for that space. Now you don't need to round up. All you have to do is to ask your supplier or the person in the store for 14.67 square yards of carpet. Why? Because we've already accounted for wastage when we multiplied by 1.1. So we need more than the required amount. We already have that worked in. So we can go ahead in the interest of the budget, maybe, just maybe, if you don't mind, then you can round it up to 15 square yards. But in the interest of budget, you can go just go ahead and buy 14.67 square yards of carpet for that space okay so suppose then you had a room that's 10 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 4 inches or even 6 inches what would you do let's go through that as quick as possible we'll have to erase this and i'll show you what to do let's take out this zero and let's take out this zero let's put six here and let's put four here so what we'll have to do then is we have to convert everything to inches okay convert 10 feet six inches to inches 12 feet four inches, two inches, and let's see, I have my calculator here in the interest of time. I'll just go ahead and use my calculator, right? So let's start by saying that there are 12 inches in a foot. So if there are 12 inches in a foot, 10 times 12 equals 120 inches. Now we can't forget about this six inches here, so we add it. So the length will be 126 inches. Now let's convert the width. The width, 12, in 12 feet, four inches, 12 inches in a foot. So it's 12 times 12, 12, 12, 144. And we can't forget the four inches. So we add four inches. So that's a hundred. Okay, so that's a hundred and forty eight inches. So our width is a hundred and forty eight inches. Our length is a hundred and twenty six inches. What do we do next? We multiply. Length times width. So we will multiply 126 inches by 148 inches. Let's get back to the calculator. 126 times 148 equals. 18,648 and that's 18,648 square inches okay so what do we then do to get square feet because there are 12 inches in a foot and we're squaring it it's times 12 so it's 12 12 144 so now we take 18648 inches squared and we divide by 144 so so 18640 48 divided by 144 equals 129.5. So that's 129.5. Okay.
five, that's 129.5 watt square feet. Because we just divided by 144, we divided the inches by 144. Why? Because they're 12 inches in a foot and it's squared, okay? Dividing square inches by square. Okay, so it's 12, 12 is 144. We divided 18,648 by 144. We get 129.5 square feet. So now we're back to square feet. Okay, but remember we have to account for wastage. So we then take that 129 and we multiply by 1.1. And we get 142.5. So we take this, multiply by 1.1, and we get 142.5 square feet. However, as we established before, carpet, carpet is sold in square yards. And what do we do when we have square feet and we need to find square yard? We divide by nine. So we'll take this 142.5 and let's just push it back a little bit. 142.5. So let's push it back over here. 142.5. Square feet. What do we do? We divide by nine to find the square yards. So divide that by nine. Hundred and forty two point four five divide by nine equals fifteen point eight three. So it's fifteen point eight. Three square yards. So you will need 15.83 square yards of carpet to cover your space that is 10 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 4 inches. Okay, so again, when you're in this situation, you have to convert everything to inches multiply your length times your your width and then divide by 144 to get your square feet and then when you have your square feet you multiply that by 1.1 to accommodate wastage and then you in turn divide that by nine because there are nine square feet in a square yard okay so that's it I hope that helps and as usual as I said before you've already covered for wastage with your 1.1 multi multiplying by 1.1 so you don't need to round it up okay so I hope that helps and I hope it was clear please ask me your questions if you want to ask any questions and please I actually really like when i get your feedback okay so you take care now and as i said before thanks so much for watching and subscribing and if you haven't please do i'll see you in the next video